Autry is just your typical quiet English market town in Devon. Except on November the 5th, when we celebrate Guy Fawkes Night by carrying burning tar barrels on our backs through the town. It's a tradition that they feel strongly about keeping going. There's so many things been said over the years, they've lost where it started. It's linked to Guy Fawkes, but then there's meant to be a pagan festival that's all around this country. I think it's forgotten in time, really. We think it stems from the gunpowder plot. We do it for a community event. We really look forward to it every year. It's just a feeling you get of, of camaraderie, of, of wanting to carry on a tradition. It's a big honour to do the barrels. A lot of people want to do it and it's not allowed, obviously, to move into the town. They haven't got the right family backgrounds, so they haven't got the current rollers in on the barrel, so that's how they work the format. Just your normal, average, quiet town that comes alive for, for one night. I always maintain you're going to get 10 to 15,000 people even on an off day. I'm uh, Andy Wade, President of the uh, Autry St Mary Carnival Committee, which looks after the tar barrels, uh, the procession and the bonfire. My name's David Strawbridge. Um, I'm one of the subcommittees in charge of the barrels. You'll see the children do the barrels and they're trying to do what their parents have done in front of them and just keep the tradition going. This is a unique situation. We're the last ones that truly pick various sized barrels up and carry them through the streets on our shoulders. I get to do something that nobody else in the world gets to do. I love it. Hear the barrel carried out and you, you might hear a bump as the wood hits the floor as a resting it down. Then you see the flames come up and the crowd starts getting really excited. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. There's no, no feeling like it when you've got 10,000 people stood in front of you and all of a sudden they, they get out of the way. They don't mess about when we're there. Everyone's vying to get a pickup. There's only seven on the night on the men's. So seven out of 60, you know, it's a big honor for them. As the day goes on, as the barrels are getting bigger, the excitement keeps raising until it gets to the last barrel. And I've been lucky enough to get given the midnight for several years now. Whether that you want it as an honour, when it's 200 and something pounds, it's another thing. It's not a test of strength, it's, it's nothing to do with that. It's the bond that you have with everybody. My little boy does it now. He had his first year last year. I've never felt the feeling like it of seeing him do his first barrel for the first time and the smile on his face. Yeah, it was incredible. 